Hi, I'm Emily Braymeyer, and I'm a student in Ohio Dominican's Physician Assistant Program. I had a great opportunity recently to go on a medical mission trip to Haiti. We flew into the capital, and then we ended up uh, driving 10 hours outside of the city to a rural area about close to the coast. We brought all of our own um, equipment and medications, so it's kind of a full service area for the people that came. The clinics were always full of people every day. Um, it was crazy because you're in these, such these rural areas and we drove so far and then out of, you know, basically out of the woods, you know, all these people come to do a physical exam and if there were um, simple procedures, if there were you know, abscesses or cuts, we did lots of like suturing and that kind of thing. Any issues that they had um, that could be treated, the medicine that we brought, we just would write a script and they would take it down to the pharmacy, which would just be the next room over basically. You know, when we're practicing the classroom, you're practicing on you know, other students like myself and for the most part are healthy and so you see normal, you see a lot of normal. But it's really cool to see, to listen like, oh this is this is what a murmur sounds like. Oh this is, you know, and so it's kind of like you hear it for the first time and it's like clicking with like what the textbook describes it as and like what you actually hear. It was crazy how much you can see and how much you can learn in one week when all you're really focused on is just the medicine aspect. To really immerse yourself as far as, you know, seeing what their needs are and what people's problems are in a different country and being able to address those is something completely different than just being able to, to travel or, you know, staying at a resort or something like that. You couldn't drink any water unless it was from a bottled, from bottled water that was sealed. You know, going to the bathroom was a challenge. Everything was a challenge. Uh, you know, we would be driving to these different sites every morning. People, they'd always be out on the road waving, saying hi, and um, they were always just really excited because they knew that we were there to help. You realize that health is important to people no matter where they live, where, um, you know, what resources they have, like what, what they believe in. It doesn't matter. Like health is something that really is so valuable to so many people and they're willing to do whatever it takes to have somebody give them treatment and to help them with that. It's just like, wow, I can't even speak to you in your own language, but I understand.